Hello guys, today in this lecture we are going to learn how wind tunnel tests are performed on a building model, how much it will cost in India and then later on we will learn to read wind tunnel test results as well. As we already know that wind flow is a very complex phenomenon and few formulas cannot determine the true path and its forces on a complex shaped building like this. So we have to go with a better method of determining wind forces. Here we should keep in mind that as compared to earthquake forces which are once in a lifetime event, whereas a building experiences wind forces on a day to day daily basis and building has to handle these forces throughout its life expectancy which is generally 50 years. So determining this day to day force accurately becomes very important when this force comes greater than the earthquake force experienced by the building. So for the building higher than 50 meter in height, it becomes very common to see that wind forces start taking lead against the earthquake forces. So in order to know the true effect of wind flow on a high rise building, we take help of wind tunnel test. This test provides us very close results to the wind force that actual building will experience in real time. Before we deep dive into the wind tunnel parts, testing methods and result types, let me share an interesting history associated with the world's first wind tunnel test and the results that came out of it. Any guess who did the first commercial wind tunnel test and on what model? Let me tell you, it were the Wright brothers who invented the first motorized flying aircraft. Problem they were receiving was that their designed aircraft wings were not able to generate enough lift for it to sustain in the air. So they took help of available wind tunnel at that time, which was a very simple wooden box with some fan at the start. They tested nearly 200 different shapes of wings and prepared a detailed uplift and drag coefficient table from the wind tunnel test and arrived at the best shape of wings that resulted in the maximum uplift force for their aircraft. It was this moment when things went from south to north for them and they were able to invent the first flying aircraft in December 1903. Without this wind tunnel test, they would have never known the best shape for maximum upthrust for their aircraft. So after this success, many of the organization took help of wind tunnel test like NASA, Boeing company, structural engineer for high rise building design and so on. Still there is no substitute to wind tunnel test till date. Some of you would say CFD can beat wind tunnel test. For the amateur engineers, the computational fluid dynamics properly known as CFD, still needs the help of wind tunnel test results for calibrating its results value so that it matches with the result of a wind tunnel. So for few more years, we have to rely on wind tunnel test to predict the actual forces experienced by a building. Now we know the importance of wind tunnel test. So let's quickly understand how this test is performed. First, the wind climate analysis is done for an area at which the building is to be constructed in wind climate analysis, we found out the maximum 3 second peak gust speed experienced by the building at site location in the last 50 years. The terrain category is also determined as this plays an important role in wind profile. The surrounding buildings that may affect the wind experienced by the building is also marked known as proximity model construction. Knowing the correct wind profile is very important because as we know from our manual wind load calculation that speed of wind is the main factor that controls the wind force experienced by the building. A wrong prediction of wind profile will result in a completely wrong wind tunnel test results. 